To place a dimension that will show the length of an arc segment or a polyline, I can use my arc length. This is on the flyout menu with my dimensions. And when I choose an arc segment, the extension lines refer to the ends of the arc. When it's placed, there is an arc symbol to indicate that that's the arc length that's being measured. To dimension the radius of a circle or an arc, on my flyout, I'll choose radius, then choose the arc segment or the circle, and then place the radius dimension. To dimension the diameter of a circle, from my flyout, I'll choose diameter, click on the circle, and then place the dimension. If I place the dimension outside the circle, you'll notice that I automatically get a center mark that's added. The size of the center mark is determined by the size of the circle, so that it extends past the outside edge. To manually set a center mark on a circle, I can use the flyout from my dimension palette and choose center mark. Then click on the circle to place the center mark. In this case, we're seeing center lines. The style of the center mark is determined in the dimension variables that are set in the dimension style. Looking at my current dimension style, if I choose modify, you can see under symbols and arrows, you can set the center mark style, and it's currently set for line. One thing about center marks is that they don't go in as a block. They are not grouped together. They go in as a set of individual lines. So if I need to edit them, I have to go in and erase them one by one. A jogged radius dimension tells me that the center point of this radius is off of our drawing or viewing area. That this point, being indicated as a center point, is a deferred center point. And that the distance being shown here is not the measurable distance between the deferred center point and the arc. To place a jogged radius, I'll go to my menu browser. On dimension, I'll choose jogged right under radius. I'm asked to select an arc or a circle, so I'll select this arc. Then to specify the deferred uh, center point location, so I'll click down here. Next I will place the, uh, place the dimension and then I will place my jog. 